Haribuni, welcome back to another episode uh, in Emma's Brush. So, a couple of weeks ago, I think maybe it was one week ago or something, my cousin was getting married and I had this head wrap on my head and I got various questions on how I got it done, did you get it stitched, is it a gele? No, in fact the person who asked whether it was a gele, yeah? you're my hero. But anyway, what it actually is, planes, So what it actually is, it's some leftover material, right? Um, I bought this material almost, I think maybe over 10 years ago and I stitched an outfit with it. So this was like just some remainder of material. So I have three very famous head, thing, head wraps or head pieces that I do when my hair is in a mess, my wig is not looking fresh, so I'm going to share with you guys what exactly I do and the kind of um, materials I use, basically the three, and I'm going to just show you. So we'll be right back. Do, 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 do. We'll be right back. So first what we're going to start with is uh, a lasso. It's my favorite lasso. And if you don't know, I'm a lady from the coast, so usually we buy lessons with whatever meaning is written there. We actually have to read them first before we buy them. Right? Would you guys want to know what this one is written? Nataseka dawa ni kukuona tu. Alright, anyway. So what I do is, when I'm having a really bad hair day, I will fold this like in half the long side then um, once that is done just put it over your head like that right um, I'm doing this without a mirror so it's, it's a perfect no mirror challenge all right <laughs> So, why I don't tie it is I usually feel like there's no blood circulation going on in my head, if that makes sense. Okay, so sometimes I'll twist it and leave it like that, um, not like that, but then I'll just tuck in the ends so it just looks nice and neat. And usually I do this when I have my tutors or something. Okay, so anyway, another that that was the first one. So the second one we we open it. Then um put it over your head like that. Um, make sure your hair is not peeping outside. Then just twist the front. And, and I know this is like pretty famous. Everyone can do this. Um, then just keep on twisting it. <coughs> then just take it round and round. Twist and round. Twist and round, twist and round, and we're done. Numero e uno dos. Now you can really pair this with nice big loops or studs that look pretty. Yes. That has totally pulled my brow up. Weird. Anyway, yeah, so that's look number two. Sorry, is this thing like serious? I think I need to cut the. Do you guys cut these things off? I think I should. Sorry, I'm so random, man. Eh? Um, can I do that like now or later? Now. 
Now, cut it off. Yeah, I thought I was being a bit too ambitious. Anyway, for another day, just tuck that baby in. It's not a baby right now, it's pissing me off. Okay. Yeah. Number two. So, uh, usually your, my, okay, not your, but my uh, wigs tend to be a bit annoying. They don't look fresh and, 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 like this one right now, it's totally dead. It needs to go back to be washed and have a good set. So, anyway, when you put it on, it, it just looks dead. What I do is I do a little cover up with material. So let me put this on with my mirror. Put it on real nice. Try and tuck in my, you know, right now my hair is not, doesn't have those cornrows for a week. So it's not going to sit really nice. Actually, it's not gonna sit, period. All right, so uh, we have your wig on and it's looking tired. Well, mine is what? So we have like, again, material from an old Dira that I had and I tied, I totally just, I, I tore it to pieces. <laughs> Okay, so we have look number one, where we'll just tie it once and then just have, I love, I love it when it just falls down, just like, ooh, I got a long wig, but I got some African in me, you know what I'm saying, so, um, so usually I'll have that done or I do a lot of tacking in. Huh? I don't. I don't do pins because I feel like when you have pins, uh, whether safety pins or the ones for the hair, they'll totally just let me down somewhere along the line because I'm quite random. You'll see me sticking my head finger somewhere and it falls off. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so that's like look number one, and they're somehow very similar. And then look number two, I'll just twist it, like, so you can have it like a rumble kit kind of look, yeah. Then the back is what's going to be like really pretty, yeah. So here's for my rumble look. Uh, Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. It just, it just falls, but what's more important is like here how it's all twisted and 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 please note I don't have a bunch of head pieces, right? Oh, there's only one which is not here, the Masai kind of head thingy, but for today, so as in you can go crazy with this stuff. Huh? You, it, you don't literally have to go with what I have done. You can go ham, do whatever, be crazy, you know. Pull a 60s, or was it 70s, a hippie look. Just do something. I just don't do this. What you think? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. 
Someone's getting in. Then there's the one that got everybody throwing me DMs. Yeah? This one in particular. So what we'll do is, because tying it is a headache, yeah, so I pre, I pre tie it as in like the knot to avoid the whole. Alright, then I just literally sweep it down my, my, my head. Yeah. So now what is fascinating about this material is how it just, because it's not that tough. Yeah, so you can literally just do anything with it. Again, I do a lot of tucking in, but if you feel you, you're more comfortable with pins, by all means, do pins. Do you, baby, baby boo. Yeah, then just have. So I love, I love it when it's pre, as in there's some that's on my face, you know, just. <sighs> Those are like basically my go-to head um, tie-ups or wrap-ups that I do. Um, I know I promised you guys I'll do this a while back, but trust me, I've been mad busy and here you are. I have done it. Congratulate me. So till next time, guys, if you feel like um, something you want me to do for you, hit me up. Uh, my, my social media tag uh, handles are just immediately after this video. Like this video, share it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Puppy, oh, my puppy was crying. Puppy was crying. And if you guys are interested in puppies, my daughter is selling her pups. Woohoo! My daughter is selling her puppies. Send them to the camera, baby. Boogie boo boo. Boogie boo boo. You yeah, boogie. Say hi so they can see you. How cute you are. Yeah, say hi. No? No. They all we have to hear four. something from you. And there are four of them. So book Ali. They just got their injection. Ooh, 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 yes, you did. <laughs>